Hi Scorpio, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your January 2018 reading. Happy New Year. Now, this may not resonate with you, as it's for hundreds and thousands of people, so just take what does and leave the rest. I have pre-shuffled this deck, so I'm only going to shuffle it for a moment. I burned myself um, cooking the turkey, so if you see that little mark on my hand, that's what it is. This is for Scorpio, January 2018. I will focus this camera in once I have the cards laid out. <clears throat> okay, what do we have here? We hear that we hear. <laughs> I see that you need to uh, free yourself from something. You're contemplating it. You want to leave something. I'm not sure what it is. Could be something emotional you're thinking about letting go of. The Eight of Cups is the basis of your reading, and that does signify that something needs to be done, okay? Something needs to be done regarding a an emotional connection that you are thinking about leaving or you have left, okay? The thing is, is you have to have strength and you have to have willpower. You have to have confidence. It feels like it could be a union of some sort that you're letting go of. Maybe it was just a thought of a union. <clears throat> Maybe there's a loss. Maybe you finally realized that something isn't working out. I mean, we have the Ten of Swords right here next to the Lover's card, next to the Eight of Cups, next to the Strength. Okay, here we have Leo. Here we have Gemini. I'll let you know who else we have. We have an Aries. We have Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries again with these two cards. We also have Virgo as of yet. But I also see a couple of completions here. So I have to really point that out. More than a couple, actually. Three of them, okay? We have the Ten of Swords. We have the Ten of Pentacles. And we have the Ten of Wands. They're all reversed, so something needs to end that you have not ended yet. This is for January 2018 because they're reversed. A completion is needed, but you are stalling. You're stalling the process. You're not letting go where you need to. Perhaps there's a, a change in residence, you know, where you, maybe somebody needs to move. Um, let go of something that has been weighing very heavily on you. I think there's something bothering you heavily, okay? It feels like, you know, something has, uh, there's some defeat here. Something isn't working out. And it, it could have to do with a partnership because of the lover's card. I feel like there's some confusion. You don't know what to choose. You don't know what to do. I see confusion in January 2018. There, uh, we have a few nines which are about closure. Something needs to end. You know what it is. I don't even have to tell you. In your head right now as you are watching this Scorpio, you know that something needs to end with these three tens and these nines. I mean there is closure that is needed. I feel like you are haven't things haven't been going very well. This is January 2018 and I think many of you are seeking balance. You just want to bring balance back to your life. You want to bring happiness, excitement. It's looking, looking like you are ready to raise your vibration. You have a lot of uh, vigor to do something. It feels like many of you are focusing more on your career than you have been. You are probably excelling, maybe even moving up to a leadership position, or you're trying to. You could be tr even thinking about starting your own business because you're so capable. I see that you are so capable of doing that. So if you are, it may be a good month to come up with that plan. 
okay maybe uh, you just need to go within you need to really focus you need to come up with the goals mini goals come up with the long-term plan and move forward I feel that you really really have the skills if you are thinking about going out on your own you know you may you may really want to do that um, you really you had a lot of experience uh, behind your belt so if you are thinking about it maybe you just need to gather up the the courage to do that you do have it deep inside you you just have to pull it out um, you're definitely leadership material somebody that's watching this is thinking about going out on their own starting their own business and I'm here to tell you that you know you will be successful if you do that and now I just noticed the third nine so we do have three nines and we do have three tens so you know completion 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 closure 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 okay there's closure and completion here this month you know and it does lead to wish fulfillment it does there but I have to tell you, you know there could be a split you know either it's from a job or a partner I do see some sort of split leaving something behind to start something new okay I just have to really point that out and you know I feel like you're really in the midst of making the decision this month here's the decision here's the choice I see confusion what do I choose you know, I see this month is about making a very big decision um, regarding fulfilling your dreams, okay? And it's been heavy. It's not like this has just started to come into your head. You've been thinking about it for a while. You know, you know something needs to go. You know there's a heaviness here that something has been weighing you down, holding you back, and you've just been holding on to it. Um, and I think it's for fear of a failure but you're not gonna fail it's like protective mode like you're trying to protect yourself in some way you know all I see is that it's time to get your life back on track and so you are actually going through a period of re-evaluation and if you aren't going through it yet you will be going through it very soon okay you know, you know, some of you may become single, you know, and I just have to tell you that you may be doing it on your own. So this could apply to relationships or career, doing it on your own, okay? You know, there, there's a decision that needs to be made for sure. And you may be feeling unstable about it. Like, you know, I just, I'm stable right now. I'm not sure if I can do this because I don't want to bring instability to my life. But it feels like it's much needed, especially with those, those tens, the three tens. It's time for a change. Something has come to the end of the road and now it's time for you to take action. It does take strength and courage and determination to do that. card just flipped oh I flipped out onto the floor and there it is and that happens to be you okay it does represent the sign of Scorpio and it just fell out on the floor flipped over so whoops and look at that son of a bitch excuse my language see see something's going on here it's really meant for you that card is telling you something there see it was meant it was meant to be okay so anyway this card is saying that <laughs> an end is in sight some end is in sight and it is going to cause a renewal for you a rebirth it's meant to be it's gonna lead to wish fulfillment it is but you just need to take the leap you need to do what's right for you okay e even amidst any instability that you may be feeling <coughs> A transformation is needed that's why we have the three nines and that's why we have the three tens and that's why we have the death card change is needed it is time to start something new brand new okay you've been you've been uh, delaying this for some reason something is over we have the ten of swords again it could definitely have to do with a relationship or something that you loved. Like I said, this could have to do with work as well. But I, I, 
you know, and then we have another nine too, that nine of cups. It feel it for many of you this is in regards to a relationship, okay? And I just I mean I don't like to say that, but that's what it that's what I see. You've been delaying the outcome. You know what you need to do, you know you need to let go of something, you know it's over. Okay, you do. You know that it's over. This is the delay. This is the Ten of Swords. You have it. You have it twice. Okay. Now, if you don't know what that means, you can look it up. But it's it's the end. Okay. It's the end of something that was negative. It's you've like you've hit rock bottom, and the only place you can go from here is up. Okay. Um, I feel like you. You know, you're looking for more. You're looking for something more romantically. And if it's not romantically, it's something that you can be passionate about. Okay, you're looking. <coughs> and you know, I'm really having a hard time with my throat this morning. So I think that also has something to do with it. You know, it is Mercury retrograde while I am recording this. And Mercury retrograde affects your speech. Okay, so I just want to throw that out there. Also, uh, when you have problems with your throat, um, for no reason, okay, it, it's saying that it's time for you to speak up. It's time for you to speak your truth. It has to do with your throat chakra, okay? And because this is happening, you know, I can see that you guys need to speak up. Now, everything that happens, one of my readings, whether a private reading, a general reading, whatever the case may be, is for the sign that, or the person that I'm reading for. I see that it is time for you to move forward. You will be successful. I feel like if you were to end what no longer serves you, this is the card of success. Okay? If you choose to stay put, your hopes and wishes will not be fulfilled because this is the Nine of Cups, but it is reversed. Okay? So I feel like it really is time for you to make a choice, all right? Perhaps you, you know, your pride is getting in the way. You know, something isn't working out and that hurts that something has failed, okay? Um, you know, there's delays. You're stalling your, your, the whole process by not moving forward, by not taking action, um, by not bringing balance back to your life. It's time to bring balance back to your life. Balance and peace and harmony. It's time to get your life back on track. Um, I feel like many of you haven't really acknowledged all the progress you've made. You've made a lot of progress. Pat yourself on the back for that. Okay? I understand that you're looking for something more. Um, you're looking for growth. But, you know, I feel like you really need to take action in your own direction. You need to take action. A transformation is upon you. Should you... Should you... Uh, there's a lot of pride here, okay? Get over the ego pride issue, you know, the hurt. I feel like, you know, there's a lot of pride where you feel like you can't move on out of pride. What if I fail? What if I fail? There's doubt. There's Get rid of that doubt. Okay? You're not going to fail. Everything happens for a reason. All right? <coughs> there's definitely endings here, and I really want to point that out. Something is ending that is bringing you much closer to wish fulfillment. All right? A door is closing, that's for sure, with the nines. Nines are closure, a, and you have four of them. So a door is definitely closing. Perhaps you should stop resisting it, okay? It's a sign to move on with four nines. It's a sign to move on towards your dreams, towards following your dreams, towards your, you know, happiness it's you need to be happy too i see that you want more you're looking for something more you know towards the end of 2017 something was happening that was making you feel you know like you weren't satisfied there's dissatisfaction here all right and it's time for you to move on and the time is now by the way
fresh air, fresh start, fresh, it says fresh air, but the minute I laid that card down, I thought fresh start. And with this death card, it can absolutely signify a fresh start. I know that you want something more. I see that many of you want something more. You're not happy. You've reached the end. And, you know, there's the death. I feel like there's death here twice. With, or three times. You had the Ten of Swords twice with the death card. I mean, it really looks like a death on these cards. I mean, it does. I mean, it's, it's, it is. So I feel like something significant needs to end. And it could even be just a thought. You know, you're stuck on something that no longer serves you. And it is impacting your future. It's time for a transformation. It's time for change. The first card is fresh air. Your body needs refreshment from oxygenated air generated by grass, trees, plants, and flowers. Spend time outside today as near to Mother Nature's cradle as possible. Open your curtains and windows to refresh your home as well. You need fresh air, period. Period. From whatever situation is clouding your mind, it's time to remove the clouds. The confusion, the dissatisfaction. It's time to start over. It's time to start fresh. You have a lot to offer. I see a lot of success here. But it's in your hands. You need to be grateful for all that you have, all that you've learned. Put that in your back pocket and have faith in yourself. The second card is from Archangel Michael. Be gentle with yourself. Archangel Michael, please guide me in treating myself with gentle, nurturing love in everything I think, speak, and do. Help me know that I deserve this compassion. I release any feelings of guilt to you so that I may experience lasting inner peace. And this is what it's about, so that I may experience lasting inner peace. You are not at a peaceful spot in your head. And you may be able to hide it from others, but the fact of the matter is you can't hide it from yourself. And it's killing you inside with these the death card and these two ten of swords. It's eating you alive. It's time for you to let it go and follow your path with confidence and courage. Let the door close. And when you can absolutely do that, when you can let the door close and you can, you will be successful. You will be victorious. So Scorpio, this is for January 2018. This is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and this video shouldn't be on anybody else's channel, and if it is, I'd love for you to let me know if you find it there. I wish you a very happy new year, and it looks to me like you're about to, to have a transformation. Congratulations, and talk to you later.